Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop channel. I'm your host Mohammad Adam presenting you with another video and this time we'll be talking about Pebble development. If you have not watched the uh, previous videos on Pebble development then I highly encourage that you do so. Uh, there are a couple of videos available on Adam Sharp channel of Pebble development um, in the separate playlist. So go ahead and watch that. And in this particular video, I'll be going over um, the events that you can handle by pressing the buttons of the Pebble watch. This is, uh, of course, the live view of my watch. I can actually move it around um, using the Reflector app to project this. Um, and hopefully it will stay like this. Okay, so let's run our app. This is the default template. It's called Hello Pebble. You can see, so if you go on Cloud Pebble and create a new project, uh, this is the default template that you get. And if you save and run, then you will see uh, that it will eventually try to install it on your uh, Pebble device. And it's not really going to... Okay, so here's one of the problems that you see with the Pebble. Um, see if I can fix that. The I have experienced a lot of issues with Pebble, uh, I'll be honest with you, and that is the reason it took so much time to to create these videos, right? And even the this Pebble development, the uh, this this never works, okay? So I have the app running, the Pebble app, and now I'm running this. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So it's very hard to even present this, as you can see. It's not working right now, okay? So that particular app, okay, so it, it, did, it did, did run over here. So here we go, okay? So you will encounter these problems, okay? So just uh, put the developer mode off and then on again and it it might actually work. So Cloud Pebble is a nice way to get started, but it has a lot of issues, okay? And I have told Pebble uh, team about it. They haven't really done anything about it. They just say, uh, oh yeah, by the way, it works on our machine. So problem solved. Text layer, all right. So let's go ahead and print something first uh, so that we can assign different events to it. But let's go ahead and add this. Right now it doesn't really do anything, right? So we'll go ahead and say text layer uh, set text. We're going to pass in the text layer, which is also called text layer. And um, that's going to say hello world. Um, so we have created the text layer. The next step will be to say um, add the window or add the layer. layer add child. What is the parent layer? The parent layer will be um, layer and the, the root layer which will be window get root layer for the window which in this case the window is my window. The layer that we are adding the is the text layer right but we can use a method text layer get layer and we can say text layer um, the last thing I guess is to add the window stack and just push the window which is my underscore window and then we'll say true And that should be it. Not sure why it's highlighting this. I mean, did I miss anything? Let's go ahead and save and run. And if we have any problems, then it will appear. Hopefully we won't. So here we go. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, most probably you can't. So let's go ahead and zoom it. Uh, I'm going to move it over here. Hello world. Okay, so it says hello world. As you can see, let's zoom it more. 
and here we go hello world right currently none of the events actually work so there aren't actually no events so if I click on any of the buttons uh, like this button or this button which is the menu button up button down button back button it, it doesn't really do anything so we haven't really done anything for that okay so let's go ahead and add these things and when we're talking about button we are talking about subscribing to events so we're gonna say set and click subscribe uh, with the provider the window in this case is my window and the click config provider we can simply call this the config provider let's uh, zoom out a little bit I'm not sure why it's keep on focusing all right so we have to define the config provider we're going to do that over here which will provide the configuration for all the clicks that we are trying to do the events window and then you have single click subscribe okay and you can see that there are some constant type uh, defined I'm going to use select button which is the middle button of course and the click handler we're going to say select click handler we don't really have a select click handler so that's why we are going to create one select click handler the first uh, is basically click recognizer and then we are sending the next one is the context itself in over here what we can do we can change the text layer oops that shouldn't happen okay so text underscore layer set text um, and the text layer in this case the text layer is called also text layer and select click handler okay and that that is pretty much it so let's go ahead and run this let's go ahead and try to zoom it also so here we go so this is installed now so now if I click this button and I'm gonna go and click it the middle one and you can see over here it says select click handler okay if I zoom in further you can read it I guess there we go select click handler now you can easily make the other ones also uh, if you want to subscribe to other ones you can say it's window click subscribe and you can of course have the button ID uh, let's just say up and then up click handler and the same way you can define another method over here which will be up click handler click uh, recognize the reference and of course these buttons uh, clicks and handling that is the main thing that you are going to be doing in your app since this is not really touch screen right so it will be used I mean exclusively uh, for basically clicking the buttons up click handler okay uh, so let's go ahead and run this now hopefully it will work all right so something bad happened uh, I think I missed something in the up click handler mm don't really see what's going on looks okay to me oh, I think it's missing a semicolon save and run so now it's stalling as you can see so here we go so I'm going to press the first of all the middle button which is the select button and we get the select one 
I'm going to press the up button, which is this one, and you can see it's called up click handler. All right, and that's pretty much it. Now you can also implement the down click handler. You can click the the, bu the back button click handler. Usually you don't implement the back button because, uh, well, you can implement the back button, but that's mostly handled by itself. It just pops out the window. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I mean, this is the uh, third I think the third installment of the videos for Pebble development and uh, that's that's it one thing I like to always mention is that these videos take a lot of time to develop I mean a lot uh, and the encoding to HD format the uploading of the videos to YouTube uh, and apart from of course not forgetting all the research that I have to do and to put these videos it takes uh, a lot of you know time and I'm always grateful to people who are donating to to keep this channel running. Uh, there are a lot of people donating, and uh, we, of course, need more donations to keep this uh, channel running. And I know, uh, you know, a lot of people have asked me how can I donate. So for all of those, uh, PayPal is a, a friend. So you can use PayPal. Just uh, send it to uh, AzamSharp at gmail.com. If you have any questions also, you can send it to azamsharp at gmail.com. But if you would like to donate something, any amount is actually, uh, you know, highly regarded actually. So uh, PayPal address is azamsharp at gmail.com. And uh, once again, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.